but part of it that I'd like you to address is the is for people to understand more about what integrative medicine is because even what you said there there's a difference i think at least i explain it that functional medicine is different from biological and biological may be different from energy medicine and the fact that what you said is correct that even in alternative medicine as you'd say anything different than conventional medicine you have specialists in there you gave that great case of this person being passed from one specialist in conventional to the other no you look fine here go to this person go to that person all the time deteriorating do you find that a lot of patients also who go on the alternative spectrum end up that way as well before they end up at your doorstep, that they're going to their chiropractor for one thing, that they go to an acupuncturist, no one's really working together. Maybe they address it a little bit more, but they're not combining everything at once. Right. And I think that's right. You know, I wanted to actually give you the comp uh, give the compliment to your dad through you is that, you know, the, the materials that he put together, which I studied some years ago, you know, where... This is, you know, it's an integrative approach, but it's also a very broad approach because you may need a lot of different tools in order to do it. And I thought that your dad's work was brilliant in integrating. You know, he, he I don't remember being with him in some of these courses, but I know he took all the same courses I did. Sure. Because all these biological medicine principles, which are sort of inclusive of you are a living being and there's and there's other living things that are in you. And if your environment's right, they're going to be on your side. And if your environment's not right, they're not going to be on your side and they're going to be your enemies and they're going to destroy you. You know, there's 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 these forces. So if you look at dark field microscopy, which is something we do on every patient, you can see these things. You know, when the terrain is all messed up, you see all these bizarre things swimming around in the person's blood. And they're not supposed to be there. And then you correct them. You get them, you know, they're missing vitamins and minerals and amino acids of certain types. And you put those back in and you make sure that they're moving their bowels every day and they get cleaned out of the toxins and their food isn't, you know, is now clean. That the body changes and then these organisms, they go back into different forms so that they're now supportive of you as a living organism instead of antagonistic to you. And chiropractic is certainly a brilliant profession with the limits that it has. And I routinely refer people to chiropractors, to colon therapists, to massage therapists, you know, to, uh, you know, these various things, to biological dentists, um, because they, because I need that part of it to get addressed too. Um, and sometimes people in those fields are, very narrow on their field and they're brilliant at it. But if you're going to take a whole person with a whole bunch of stuff, um, you need somebody who's got, you know, who's got a big viewpoint on the thing and then can, you know, address those various things. Yeah. I always like to make the analogy of mixed martial arts. It's something I used to love to watch. And I remember the early days I was around for those where it would be your Brazilian jiu-jitsu versus your street brawler, the big guy, right? The small Brazilian guy versus, and then you'd have your boxer and then you'd have your all American wrestler that went to college for wrestling. And then you'd have your, you know, Muay Thai guy. You had all these different specialties yeah. and they'd go up against each other and it would be hard. And over time, people learned you have to integrate. You have to be good at all these things, actually. You could still learn from the masters that niche specialties and, and can teach you how to do things very well. Right. But then you have to keep going beyond that and provide all together. And that's what they found. Mixed martial arts became that because it was about integrating everything to be the best in this so-called field or sport. Right. And so... I think that's what we're talking about when we say integrative medicine, because people have different understanding of what that means. Oh, is right. that you're, you're doing some extra stuff on conventional medicine, or are you just adding some nutrition, or are you looking at energy or psychology? It's all of that. It's integration. It's, it's the right. integrative side of that. So right. I, I think, of course, this is where the future of medicine must go.